Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. I cannot wait to share with you how this awesome part of the Ponderosa was started, how it was built and everything, all the effort that went into what's going on. Uh, you know how curious the bison are and well, the bison were actually part of this. My yearlings from South Dakota and uh, from Canada were a part of this and they spent a lot of time out here. I cannot wait to show you what they think about it and how they reacted to it and all the hard work that has gone into it is right here. Here it is, right here at Cross Turners Bison. You guys check it out and I hope you enjoy the video. Marissa, you might want to shoo them away from your stuff. <laughs> They're back on it.
We're just ranching it flower style. How about that? That's right. A little bit of getter done construction mixed with a. Uh, we don't really know what we're doing. I Nick. found my getter done sweatshirt the other day. I thought I lost it. Oh, well, that's good. I found it at work. First, I might be heavily overseeding every single one of these, but you know. We're hoping for the best. Germ rates 50% set about a foot apart each, so we're leaning on the edge of having two versus just one seed. That one got three. What we are doing now is something that the Ponderosa Marissa has been wanting to do for a while. She's been very interested in, she has a lot of experience in, um, just, well, some experience, <laughs> but um, something that she loves, um, you know, just a, like a passion, just like I have a passion for bison, Marissa's got a little passion for uh, flowers. And so what we're gonna do is, we are gonna start a little project. Um, here at the Ponderosa in the front part. So here's the front part. Uh, here's the corral. This is where the Dakota Pure calves and the Canadian calves are, the Wolverine Bison barn, obviously. But what we're doing here, there's the front entry. So what we're doing up here is this pretty little spot where there is always lots of traffic on this uh, popular road. But uh, what we're going to do is plant um, some flowers. What type of flowers are we planting? Um, mostly. Uh Cut flowers, so like zinnias, sunflowers, um, pretty flowers. Yeah, pretty flowers. Lots of pretty flowers. But for, for cut flowers, so for arrangements that you can take inside and in. It's just bison, flowers, it'll all go together. Because here's the reason why is because we are using dirt, sorry, we're using soil um, from the Ponderosa, and we're, we've got lots of dirt piled up. We're gonna use a lot of that dirt. We are gonna get a load of dirt in, some topsoil, but what we're doing is we're mixing it in with corral. Organic matter. Organic matter, yeah, I guess that's what you call it. But you got hay, poop, soil, pee. You've got all that bundled up. There's no telling how long it's sitting there. I know at least winter time, but even some stuff that was here before uh, the Ponderosa came along, before we even were able to get this property. So a lot of that organic matter, we're actually mixing it. Here's one of these little piles right here. I'm choosing a skid steer by taking some of that dirt, um, some of that soil from area, different areas of Ponderosa and mix it in with the corral, bison poop and fertilizer, all that good stuff, organic matter. And then we're making these rows right here. So we've already got a couple started and we're gonna show you the journey of that because it is a journey. We're both learning. Yeah. We've already tried some different stuff. <laughs> because when you don't have all the right tools, it's very difficult. Yeah. We've got the skid steer, which can knock out a bunch of it. And uh, we got the bucket on it. So we can knock, we can do a lot with the skid Helps steer. tremendously. Yes. So uh, this is just a fun little project that um, it's that we can do together and Brooks can even be a part of. 
Um, it doesn't involve bison directly, but uh, they'll be out here, um, right here next to us. And, and people can drive by and, and see the flowers and, and maybe even purchase some flowers. That's something later on. Um, that's one of the goals of this is possibly so you can purchase flowers right here directly from the Ponderosa. Um, and, and it involves the bison because of the stuff that comes out of them basically that they put back into mother nature back into the soil and uh, it's those critters right there you're seeing them all the animals that you see on the channel at the Ponderosa some of that stuff's gonna go right back into these flowers which is awesome and just a new little project that we're gonna do together and uh, just something fun something different and uh, right yeah I'm excited yeah so who doesn't love flowers and um, just gives it a, this place another look too as well so anyways we still got lots of work to lots of work to <laughs> yeah. do lots of uh, new things to learn too because I've never really done this besides plant a garden with a couple plants so I have no idea what I'm doing I'm basically doing what she tells me to do <laughs> Which, it's a learning process for sure yes, you it know? is I was expecting to come out here in one day and get them all knocked out and we've seeds got... planted watered <laughs> and good we to go we got uh, quasi two rows sort of lined out so. we got we got two rows it's started a little bit more of an endeavor than I was anticipating it is which about. is Marissa thinks <laughs> you can just come out here and get after it and hustle and things get done fast and that's very true but uh, part of ranching which she doesn't get to spend a lot of time with me doing uh, just things just don't always go the way you want to plus this morning grandma called and we went and helped her um, she had a ewe that had a, a set of twins and so we had to help grandma get a sheep in the, the a lambing barn and got the two babies uh, sucking on her or nursing on the mama sheep so um, that you know just stuff like that happens luckily grandma is down the road and uh, they race show sheep hope you guys enjoy something a little bit different the critters are right here and actually they've actually been in here grazing a little bit and they've got it grazed down so they've been pooping and peeing in here already but obviously we're not going to let them in here anymore because they'll destroy everything the first thing that they want to do is roll in the dirt and you know they've been jumping on the trailer so they're just they're like a bunch of little kids in a, in a playground is really what what they are so anyway so maybe you'll get to see a little bit more of marissa on here as we do this little project we got a long ways to go so keep you guys informed all right stay tuned stay tuned guys we'll see you next time